Coming up, the mood changes a bit. You're going to see a fiery Tom Cruise talk about his attack on Brooke Shields, antidepressants, and Ritalin for kids. I've never agreed with psychiatry, ever. Uh, before I was a Scientologist, I never agreed with psychiatry. And then when I started studying the history of psychiatry, I started realizing more and more why I didn't agree with psychiatry. And as far as the Brooke Shields thing is, look, you gotta understand, I really care about Brooke Shields. I, I think here's a, a, a wonderful and talented woman. And uh, I want to see her do well. And I know that uh, psychiatry is, is a pseudoscience. But, to, but Tom, if she said that this particular thing helped her feel better, whether it was the antidepressant or going to a counselor or a psychiatrist, isn't that enough? Matt, you have to understand this. Here we are today, where I talk out against drugs and psychiatric abuses of electric shocking people, mm -hmm. okay, against their will, of drugging children with them not knowing the effects of these drugs. Do you know what Adderall is? Do you know Ritalin? Do you know now that Ritalin is a street drug? Do you understand that? The difference is no, this was no, not Matt, against Matt, her Matt, will, though. Madam, but this wasn't Madam against your question. Will. Madam, asking your question. I understand you there's know? abuse of all of these things. No, you see, here's the problem. You don't know the history of psychiatry. I do. Aren't there examples, and might not Brooke Shields be an example of someone who benefited from one of those drugs? All it does is mask the problem, Matt. And if you understand the history of it, it masks the problem. That's what it does. That's all it does. You're not getting to the reason why. There is no such thing as a chemical imbalance. So in postpartum a body. depression to you is, is Matt, kind of a little psychological goo gobbledygook? Matt, no, no, I did not say that. I'm just asking, what, you, no, what would you no, call it? Abs that Matt, that is, the post. Now, now you're talking about two different things. But that's what she went on the no. antidepressant for. But what happens, the antidepressant, all it does is mask the problem. There's ways of vitamins and through exercise and various things. I'm not saying that that isn't real. That's not what I'm saying. That's an alteration of what, what I'm saying. I'm saying that drugs aren't the answer. That these, these drugs are very dangerous. They're mind-altering drugs. And there are ways of doing it without that so that we don't end up in a brave new world. The thing that I'm saying about Brooke is that there's misinformation, okay? And she doesn't understand the history of psychiatry. She, she doesn't understand in the same way that you don't understand it, man. Do, do you examine the possibility that these things do work for some people? That yes, there are abuses, and yes, maybe they've gone too far in certain areas. Maybe there are too many kids on Ritalin. Maybe electric shock. Too many is... kids on Ritalin. Matt. I'm just saying. But but aren't there Matt. examples where it Matt. works? Matt, Matt, you, you don't even you're glib. You don't even know what Ritalin is. If you start talking about chemical imbalance, you have to evaluate and read the research papers on how they came up with these theories, Matt. Okay, that's what I've done. And you go and you say, where's the, where's the medical test? Where's the blood test that says how much Ritalin you're supposed to get? You're, you're, it's very impressive to listen to you because clearly you've done the homework and, and you know the subject. And you should. And, 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 and you should do that also because and, just knowing people who are on Ritalin isn't enough. You should be a little bit more responsible in knowing. I'm really. not prescribing Ritalin, Tom, and I'm not well, asking anyone else to do well, it. Well, you are. You're saying, saying no, I know some people who seem to have been helpful. I, but you're saying, but it's, uh, this is a very important issue. I this is a very, and you know what, and you're, you're here on the Today Show, right? and to talk about it in a way of saying, well, isn't it okay, and being reasonable about it, when you don't know, and I do, I think that you should be a little bit more responsible in knowing what it is, but, because you, you communicate to people. But you're all, Matt, and the end all. Matt, but here's the point. What is an ideal scene in life? Okay. Uh, ideal scene is someone not having to take antipsychotic drugs. I would agree. Okay, so now you look at and you go, okay, a, a departure from that ideal scene is someone taking drugs. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you go, okay, what is the theory and the science behind that that justifies that? Look, if I want to know something, I go and find out. Because I don't talk about things that I don't understand. I'll say, you know what, I'm not so sure about that. I'll go find more information about it so I can, I can come to an opinion based on on the information that I have. You're so passionate about it. And I'm passionate about learning. I'm passionate about life, Matt. 